Hey everybody, welcome to Ram TV and welcome back to my NBA 2K18, my GM with the OKC Thunder. This is episode 35, so if you guys aren't caught up, look for a playlist in my channel. So here we are for this January 28th, 2019 game. Um, and we are 31 and 15, uh, first in division, second in conference, still behind Golden State. Um, but before we get things started, um, if you guys are new, uh, subscribe to my channel and click that notifica notification bell to basically told whenever I come out with a new video. And if you like what you see by this video, click the thumbs up button. I'm trying to get at least three to five likes, so smash the thumbs up and um, leave any comments below. And here's an addition to my NBA 2K18, my GM stuff, just like I'm doing with my MLB18 uh, franchise. I'm going to give you guys the control uh, to be my co-GM for the team. So for instance, you want to change the lineups or you want to start somebody else. So if you want to try to trade somebody or sign some free agents, uh, let me know in the comments. Obviously, it has to make sense. I'm not going to trade Russell Westbrook for, uh, let me just pick a random player here, um, Taj Gibson. No offense, Taj. I think you're a good player, but you're not worth Russell Westbrook. Um, the trades have to make sense. Um, it's, you know, to make the team better, obviously, not to even out the league. This is, a team, this is about our team, not anybody else's, obviously. Um, and uh, one last question before you guys um, watch this video. What do you guys think about this whole Cousins to the Warriors thing, man? LeBron shook things up. I'm going to LA. And the Warriors were like, let me do you one better. Let's add a fifth, fifth All-Star to our team and have a lineup of Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, Kevin Durant, DeMarcus Cousins, and uh, and Green. What? Come on. What kind of BS is that now? There's only, it's really only a two-team race. It's going to, well, I guess three or four, but it's all, they're all from the West. Who's going to come out from the East? The Celtics? The Celtics didn't get stomped on, no matter who comes out from the, uh, from the West. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, let's get this game started. Um, let me check my injury report. I don't think anybody's injured anymore. And no, there's nobody injured. So we are still uh, at full strength here. We're going to be facing the 29-17 Nuggets in Denver. Uh, Al Horford for Stephen Adams. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm, hmm. Go sheet trade. The interesting is that Al Horford, I think, is better than Stephen Adams overall. So, let's see his contract, because Steven Adams' contract is so ridiculous, and Al Horford's is just as ridiculous. He's making 28 mil, and then 30 the next year, and Steven Adams is making 24, and then 25 the next year, but his contract is a little longer. <sighs> huh. The thing is, Al Horford is more skilled. More skilled. Um, but he does get injured a lot with his knees. Uh, fatigue is a little worn out. This guy can shoot. This guy can shoot everywhere. I, I don't know. Let's take a look at his stats. Or his uh, attributes, rather. Shots in close. Um, mm -hmm. Open. He can hit threes. Kind of. For a center, he can. Uh, his mid range game, he can definitely hit. IQ is high, free throws are high, standing layup is high, standing dunk is a little lower, that's okay. Contact dunk. Let's see, let's check his rebounding here. 48 is offensive and 71 is defensive. Um, the thing is that I really use Steven Adams for defense purposes. So this stuff here, it doesn't really matter to me that much, you know? Um, obviously, his free throws are uh, a little weakness, but standing dunk is about the same. Let's take the rebounding, though. Rebounding, look at that, 85 on offensive and 64 for, um, for defensive. <sighs> I'm not sure. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna keep this trade on hold. I'm gonna remember this trade is Steven Adams for Al Horford. I'm gonna give you guys the chance to tell me um, if you guys want to 
if you guys want to see this trade happen i can always i think revisit it um so i'm going to decline right now and then come back to it later on maybe if i can um it looks like steven adams actually fits in my system because we are a running gun uh shooting team uh, i think we're outside in as opposed to inside out oh wait hold on we're inside out of a team so we'll attack the basket if we get open shot on top we'll shoot it um so i'm not entirely too sure if you guys want to see that happen uh so again let me know in the comments if you guys want to see that how to decline the trade but if i can visit it again i will just let me know in the comments if i should say yes or no to that trade um after after this video comes out so let's start this game i'll see you guys in denver Start the game. Let's get a three. Got it. Good defense by Brogdon. He has been clutch for the Thunder season. Ever since the trade, here comes Russell. Gets blocked. Wow. Got him. And here comes a windmill by Paul George. Oh my goodness. That had to be a foul, or actually an offensive foul by Paul George. Looks like he fended off with his hands. Paul George for three. Got it. Paul George is wide open as Russell basically sucked in the entire defense. Got that assist. No one's guarding Russell. What's going on here? Foul. And one. That was an N1 by Russell Westbrook. That's the seventh point in the quarter already. Russell, is he on fire? Oh, he's on fire. That is 13 points in the first quarter. And the OKC Thunder up by 15 already here in the first. We got a pass by Clarkson to Sanders. Pick and roll. Sanders is able to catch it for the slam. Here comes Grant for the slam. Who is guarding Jeremy Grant? Because you know if he has a lane, he'll throw it down. Ooh, that's a steal. That's a steal. I said that's a steal. Good defensive effort by the Thunder. Here comes Russell for a slam. Good defense. I will say this every video. Good defense turns into better O. So I think by taking some of those games that have zero impact on the season, zero impact on how you evaluate. Even Russell open. He'll hit that three. Russell Westbrook continues to be on fire, and that's Paul George with the steal for the Thunder. Here comes Paul. Here comes Russell. And that's a foul. What a great sequence for the Thunder offensively and defensively on back-to-back -back plays. Paul George wide open. He'll hit that. That's a good look by Russell. And lead is still double digits. Almost 20 here in the second. Oh, and there's a slam. By Zubach. I thought he was just going to lay that in, but he took the big steps for the slam. Good luck by Russell. Let's go, Clarkson. Let's go push. Let's go past the defender for the N1. I knew that was going in as soon as he came up. That's a foul on Wilson Chandler. That is a strong uh, take by Jordan Clarkson. All right, so it looks like we're going to dribble. Oh, okay. I thought they were going to dribble it out. I would have done the same thing anyway, but... We're going to dribble it out here, and we're going to win by 10. Yep, 10, and that's the end of the game. It should have been a little bigger, but I guess I was fooling around with the starters and the uh, the bench players. But Russell Westbrook and Paul George paving the way. Let's take a look at the box score here. Look at this Jackson Baldwin guy. He's a stud. And then again, I was fooling around defense, but 30 points out of 13 and 19 shooting. Pretty good guy. Let's see his rating, actually. Overall, 89. He is a first-time draft pick from Kentucky. I'm not surprised then. Uh, Jokic with a 17 and 13 game. Uh, so go look at the Thunder here. We had Russell with a 32, 5 and 7 game. You know, the only disappointing thing is he had his three turnovers. We had Paul George with a 23, 4 and 4, as well as, as, well as two steals. But look at that turnover stats: five. Um, Kilpatrick came off the bench with 14 points, and Stephen Adams. 
Uh, had a 10-16 game. Good freaking beastly game from Steven Adams. This is making me not want to trade him. Um, but again, you guys make that choice. But again, his contract is way too high. Or rather, Al Horford's contract is way too high. And uh, Brogdon, Patrick Patterson, Jordan Clarkson, and oh, here you go, Larry Sanders. It's a pretty big game here. 7 8 1 1 from the bench. Zubach 7 4 and a 1. Um, okay, let's uh, take a look at team comparison here. We end up shooting, actually, you know, they should be shot about the same. 55 to 53. They made more threes, but we had more free throws, which basically won the game. Uh, points in the paint was definitely the telling story and let's see let's see let's see and that should be it okay I'll see you guys in home screen and let's see if I can um, see if there's any other trades or anything else that you guys might be interested in uh, so let's see what's going on here all right here we go uh, level 44 and morale Joe Sargent blah 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 okay Let's increase the morale, and we're gonna simulate it up to. Let's play against Lonzo. Let's go to this game, sim through date, and I'm sure there's gonna be some sort of. Oh, okay. So let me see who gets injured here. I just want to let you know that the deadline for trading players is approaching. Continue simulation. So this is a another trade here. Uh, Ellenson. I don't know who that is for. A 2022 20, second dra round draft pick from the Pistons for Patrick McCall. Um, decline. Uh, let's see. So we won this game against the Timberwolves. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Russell Westbrook with a near triple double 33 points, 8 rebounds, 7 assists, 2 steals. Paul George, 20 points, 6 rebounds, 4 assists. Kilpatrick coming from the bench with 17 points. Uh, Steven Adams with a 14 and 9 game. Clarkson with 14 points. Brogdon. With a big game as well, 11, 4, and 8. Uh, and then to simulate, get, simulate this game against the Mavericks. We end up winning by 7. Uh, Paul George with 23 points, 9 rebounds. Westbrook with 20 points, 9 rebounds, 7 assists. Uh, Kilpatrick coming from the bench again, 17 points. Um, Brogdon with 11 points. Zubac in a 9 and 11 game. Steven Adams with only 8 points, 6 rebounds. Uh, and then we're going to be simulating straight right before... The Laker game, I'm sure there'll be some sort of Tony Parker, Pau Gasol, Steven Adams, and Kilpatrick. This is a trade I would pulled off maybe, maybe even two years ago. Tony Parker's definitely lost a step. Pau Gasol's lost a step. Steven Adams and Kilpatrick are definitely a younger guy, so I'm going to decline that. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see what else is going on here. Is Tyreek Evans has voice concerns about not getting enough minutes. How is there to manage all the egos of players? Um, it's not hard at all. Listen, if he wants to get traded, by all means, let me know. Again, they're offering this trade: Tony Parker for Pau Gasol, uh, Tony Parker and Pau Gasol for Steven Adams and Sean Kilpatrick. I'm going to decline that. It's not a good trade. Um. So now we are 34 and 15, 19 games above 500, and uh, yeah, we're playing pretty dang well. Fan interest at 100%, chemistry at 93. Um, let's see how far back we are from from the standings, or rather the conference standings. We are three games back still. Golden State 37 and 12. Um, their team has been, uh, I guess, doing pretty dang well. We got Lance Stevenson, and in real life, he went to LA. Uh, okay. Uh, let's, see, let's see. And I think that's going to wrap it up here. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. Again, you guys are my co GM. So, you guys let me know in the comments. Uh, the big topic is should I trade for Al Horford, for Steven Adams? Um, again, summary here. Al Orford is a better offensive player than Steven Adams, better all-around shooter, um, but Steven Adams is definitely the better rebounder here at this point. Um, the thing is also is that uh, Al Horford has a two-year contract but getting paid, his contract is way too high. And then, um, so after this year, it might be difficult to sign anybody else. And Steven Adams, also with a big contract, but 
uh, for it's definitely shorter but more years uh, so, take, so take that in consideration again you guys tell me if I should pull off the trade um, if it's majority yes majority no whatever I'll go off by that uh, so yeah hope you guys have a great day take it easy and peace